this to the next exam so be ready and keep noting everything okay so this screen is visible yes ma'am so yes, we are reading the gorakh samhita so the uh, writer of the gorakh samhita is gorakh maharshi gorakhnath uh, can you anybody name what are other text which is written by gorakhnath uh, as you are already uh, reading the other hatha yogi text also yoga, yoga first yoga is written yoga bees and siddha siddhanta padarthi good siddha siddhanta padarthi and uh, again gorakh samhita and gorakh satak also is written by maharshi gorakh nath okay gorakh satak is another different book so in gorakh samhita basically there are two uh, chapters here the chapters are named by satak okay and can anybody name ki how the uh, in gharan samhita how the chapters had been told no gandha samhita upanishad na no okay i will come to that okay so there are basically two chapters in gorakh samhita and total number of shlokas are 201 okay in first satak there is are 100 shloka in second chapter there are 101 uh, shloka a little slow a little slow okay okay so next uh, the basically there are in gharan samhita we have read about saptang yoga but here in the siddh uh, goraksha samhita there is a mentioning of the shadang yoga here they have not considered the yam niyam they started from the asan pranaya mudra uh, yam niyam ko me astang yoga only yam niyam they left and uh, rest of the is present one by one we will explain it and in detail so starting from the asana so as ma uh, adi yogi shiva has mentioned 84 lakh asana among 84 lakh asana 84 is important among them among the 84 asanas two are the most important so if anybody asks how many asanas are basically important in gorakh samhita there are only two siddhasan and padmasan here padmasan is also represented and used another synonyms as kamalasan okay get it everyone 84 lakh asanas are there among 84 lakh asana 84 are important among those 84 two are most important and the most important asana are siddhasana and padmasana okay so next moving to the chakras there are six chakras sat chakras are mentioning so in other yoga upanishad there are nine chakras also so uh, basically shat chakras are on all the hatha yogi text so in garak samhita also there are six chakras are mentioned when we talk about the nadis uh, as uh, 72000 nadis are present in our body among the 72000 10 are the most important okay so you all have to remember the name of 10 nadis and what's their position in our body which body part is represented by that nadi okay moving to the next is the prana uh, there are five types of main prana and five up prana are there so in gorakh samhita there are total 10 pranas are mentioned how uh, now next they are discussing what's the po position of kundali they are just present in the eight circular motion here not three and half okay what is the gyatav gyatav is the initial gyatav in common words we can say ki basic root means what should we know about the body if you read about the anatomy what should we know what's the purpose what's the basic root of everyone's development so maharshi here maharshi goraksha is explaining ki before starting the yogic practice before starting your sadhana you should at least know this 29 points of your body because what if you don't know what's the function of your eye you if you don't know for what purpose your hand are given then what's the benefit of using it so first you have to know these 29 points among 29 points they have subdivided it six are the chakras 16 
16 are the adhars adhars means main locator of the body two are the lakshya and five is the akas one by one we will name everyone uh, even already in one time among them, uh, there are four questions already came. Some uh, it's uh, the already came question is one of them is how many asanas are in Gorakshana, uh, Goraksanita, and what are the name them? Okay, the another important question is how many pranas are explained in Goraksanita? Sometimes if you, you will be given uh, the Alambusa, what's the lo location of Alambusa? Sometimes you will be given Kuhu and Sankhini, what's the location of that Nadi? Okay, and the another important question, uh, according to Goraksanita, uh, there are 29 Adharas in our body. So what are those Adharas? So two of them will be given and some other uh, options will be given so you will be confused so you should always remember in a breaking wide it's just subdivide it and then learn it so in garak sahita there are two types of dhyan sagun dhyan and nirgun dhyan okay can uh, anybody tell how many dhyanas are there in uh, uh, garan sahita i think six now six I Who think three, 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 three. Okay, what are those? I don't remember the names, but Jyoti Dhyan and there are two other Dhyans. Antar Dhyan. I'm not aware, ma'am. I know that three, but I'm not aware of the names. I've not gone through them. Anybody else? RTG? No, ma'am. No. Sonia, Anita ji. Ma, Geran da Sankita ya. Hmm. Shrula Dhyan, Jodi Dhyan, Sukshma Dhyan. Yes, there are three types of Dhyan. Shul Dhyan, Sukshma Dhyan and Jodi Dhyan. Okay. But in Gorat Sahita, there are two types of dhyan sagun dhyan and nirgun dhyan okay this question has already came in exam so there are basically five types of mudras have been explained and there are extra two sub mudras are explained so you should be very static while giving the answer so here they have divided the chapter in first chapter what's the input and in second chapter what's the content so in the uh, first chapter they are containing 100 mantras 100 shlokas are there while in satak 2 there are 101 mantras are there so uh, as we have learned gyatavya avyap has been explained in the first satak and it's a 29 where they are located what's their importance everything is explained in satak 1 Next is the you uh, after when you know about the gyata avyam when you know the location so then after that gorax mahashi gorax is coming to the yoga siddhi why it is important why this human body is important for obtaining the yoga siddhi in many uh, places you must have re uh, written key uh, it's not uh, even available for or uh, devtaon ke liye bhi sulabh nahi hai means even the uh, uh, heavenly or godly body doesn't get the chance to practice yogic kriyas so you are very lucky to get a life as a human being and it's so very important to do yoga siddhis and why it's important after that they are moving to the six chakras and what's a kamakya feet and next they are explaining about the 10 nadis their location and what uh, what are the other synonyms are of their nadis are also explained here. And what is after ten... uh, Kamakya Peet? It's a Vishwot Mukh Param Jyoti. So there is explanation of like self enlightenment kind of word they have explained there. Ki, uh, Siddhi Ko or Jo uh, Kamakya Peet is like uh, Kamur, uh, the, in one sloka there they have also mentioned about the Kundalini and after that they turn to the Vishwot Mukh Param Jyoti. I will just uh, we will go with the sloka also. Don't worry. So after that there are 10 pranas five main pranas five up pranas are there mudra 
there are uh, when you uh, when you have direct question how many mudras are in the gorat sahita you have to answer five only okay then they have explained about ajapa gayatri pathya path here is your diet what kind of the food should be eatable and non eatable things then the kundali then after there is mentioning of nari shodhan pranaya and the result of nari shodhan pranaya and can you, anybody know where or in which other text nari shodhan pranaya is mentioned separately by the name nari shodhan guess guess heart yogi text only is present in heart yoga pradipika but uh, except the pranayams okay and next 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 so this is one of your tasks come with the answer tomorrow okay this is only the hatha yogic text also only which is mentioning nari shodhan pranaya when you talk about the sataka here in the nari shodhan started so after the nari shodhan after doing the nari shuddhi what will happen they after the cleansing of your nadis the actual pranaya the basic sorry just give me a minute Okay. So after the cleansing of your nadis, they are discussing about the various types of pranayam. What's the benefits of the pranayam? They here again they are discussing about the yoga siddhi. One of the yoga siddhi is the nad. After that, they are discussing as the Gorak Sanhita is mentioning about the shadang yoga. They will give the results of the shadang yoga. After pranayam, tehar, then the dharna, then the dhyan, then the samadhi. Okay. Uh, now we will go one by one. We will discuss it in detail. So first slog they have explaining about the uh, shadang yoga, asanam pran sanroda putya haren harischi dharana dhyanam samadhi re tani yoga angani vadanti sar. So there are six types of yoga has been mentioned in the Gorak Sanhita, asan pranam putya har dharana dhyan and samadhi. You can you easily remember the Ashtang yoga, just remove yam and niyam, and the rest of them is the six parts of among the asana, as Adi Yoga Shiva is explaining about the 84 lakh asanas, among them 84 are important, among them two are important, Siddhasan and Padmasan. Next, how to do, uh, as the uh, here also, the method is same of doing Siddhasan as in the Gherant Sahita. Okay, so here drishti is bhumadhi. Okay, your drishti is very important. Sometimes you can get the question uh, about the drishti also relating with the various ancient texts like uh, Hatha Yoga Pradipika also mentioning Siddhasan, Garan Sahita also mentioning Siddhasan, Agorak Sahita is also mentioning Siddhasan. So among them, just compare what are the basic difference in all the yogic text of the Siddhasana. If there is nothing, go with the same one. Here the uh, technique is same. What's the result? Moksh mark. Siddhi. The, the uh, result of the doing Siddhasana is it's producing Siddhi. Next is the uh, uh, Padmasana. In Padmasana, Drishti is Nashikagra, the tip of the nose. And here also the result is same as Gheran Sahita. It's just deteriorating all kind of disease. It's helping in deteriorating all kind of disease. So, uh, till here, it's clear to everyone? Yes, ma'am. And can you repeat the, the according to this... Uh... Uh, Siddh Siddhasana, where you have to concentrate, Brumadhyaya. Yes, 
and in padmasana and... like nashika oh. sonia is it clear to you any doubt anita ji arti ji it's not clear but it's little bit fast ha arti ji going is smooth yes ma'am clear बॉडी ओके फर्स्ट वन इज दट चक्र you should know about the six chakras of your body you should name every body uh, chakras and what is the location of the chakras in your body second is the sola aadhar 16 aadhars means 16 basic points of the body two laksha two concentrating points and the five ether or you can just say panch akas okay so these total if you count to 6 16 2 5 then total there are 29 so what are the six chakras one is the mooladhara so uh, do you know all everyone's name this is very basic do you know the name of six chakras sonia sonia hmm yes ma'am yes tell location also go with the location also first mooladhara genital area uh, swadeshan manipur chakra level anahata no, chakra no, where is swadeshan located swadeshan chakra genital area uh, manipur chakra level anahata heart next thank you we should be in between the eyebrow and pasara uh, at, at crown chakra anita ji yes mama swadishtana as mooladhara and uh, in our genital swadishtana ne um um uh, na lower abdomen uh, manipura uh, navel part uh, anahada heart region uh, um vishuddhi uh, th- throat an um, agnya for forehead that is uh, center of your eyebrow and uh, shagashara top of our head that is crown chakra Okay, got it, Sonia. Yes, ma'am. It will I'm not go up if it go if you go with this speed. There is more long to cover. Just remember, I will ask you tomorrow again. Just go with the result also. Okay. So the six chakras are Mooladhara, Swadeshthana, Manipur, Anahad, Visuddhi, Agya. Next is the. Adhar. There are sixteen adhars of body, which we I will uh, just point out one by one. There are two laksh. One is abhyantar external concentration point, and uh, next is the abhyantar lakshmis internal concentration point. Okay, so uh, one is uh, there are two points. One is external, and another is internal. There are five either kas, 
Padakas, Mahakash, Tattvakas, and Shuvirakas. So these are only the names which you have to remember. There are nothing uh, to be present. That is the Akas, Parakas, Mahakash, Tattvakas, and Shuvirakas. Okay. So uh, Shat Chakra, you know, Muladhara, Swadhisthana, Manipur, Anahat, Vishuddhi, and Agya Chakra. So, the, so 16 important points of the body are Pad Angust means it's your toe, Gulf, it's your ankle, Janu, it's your knee, Pudu is here, it's your thigh, Sibni is here, it's your Repeat, 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 tell each one twice. Twice? Yeah, each, okay. each point twice because uh, while making notes, you're right, going right, to right. Okay. First is the uh, Padangust, is to your toes. Second is the Gulf, it's your ankle. Third is the Janu, it's your knees. Fourth is the Uru, Uru is your thigh. Fifth is the Sivni, that is your genital organ. Sixth is the Ling, which is represented to be the male. Seventh is the navel. Eight is your heart. <laughs> Nine is your throat. Tenth is your tonsil. Ghantika is represented as your tonsil. Which one? Tonsil, man? Yes. Eleventh is your jiva moon. That is your, where the pharynx and larynx just got started. I uh, don't know the exact name. Twelfth is your nostril. Sixteen is a Brahmarandra. Everyone done? Murda is what, ma'am? Hmm? Murda. Ma'am, for palate. Bhumadhyaya. Bhumadhyaya is eyebrow center. Yes. And Lalata? Forehead. Murda is what? Upper palate. Upper palate. So after nostril. The, the crown of the head. Right? Yes. Brahma and Dravid. Top of the head. Or do you can just stay? Sign, you are asking something? After nostril, it is eyebrow center, then forehead, and 15th one is? Brumadde. Brumadde. After nostril, what it is, ma'am? After your voice is not clear. What you need? After nostril, after nostril, twelfth one. After nostril, after... it's yeah. Yeah. After nostril, he's asking, ma'am. After nostril, it's in between the eyebrows. Okay, after bhumadhi, it is forehead. Okay. Yes. Then after forehead, fifteenth one is. Fifteenth one is the mudha. So in HD no. mudra, I will explain more about what's the mudha. Now just read, uh, read it as mudha. Mudha upper palate. Hmm. Okay, can we move next? It's so slow, right fast. Yes, ma'am. 
Okay, so there are two considering points. Uh, one is the external way of concentration and another one is the internal that I will explain with the help of examples. Uh, what are the external and what are the internal things? And uh, in the Akas, they are only the names. You can just uh, memorize it as it is. Akas, Parakas, Mahakas, Tatvakas, Shuryaka, like that. Okay. Okay. I will give you the PDF. Don't worry. Next is the why yoga siddhi is obvious. Uh, no, what? Go to the previous slide. Once go to the previous slide. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And so for your company, you can just take a screenshot and just read it later on. Okay. Now we need to cover a lot. Okay, now why the yoga siddhi is important? Then Maharshi Gerand is giving one uh, sloka. Ek stambam nav dwaram griham panchadi devatam swadehe yene jananti katham siddhyanti yogina. Means if you don't know about your own body, then why, uh, what's the purpose why, or what's the benefits of doing the yoga siddhi? So before just going for the yoga siddhi or yoga sadhana, you should know about the your own body and it's all kind of means in which part is which god is residing how many dwara or how many gates are there for the uh, purpose so first one is the stamp means one is the basic pillar if you make a house if you try to plan a, a dream house of yourself so the pillar should be strong so the pillar of our your body is your mana your heart or you can mana is not a representative word which should be named anatomically but according to so psychology they are at many terms somewhere brain is called the mana or sometimes thoughts are called the mana so it's the combination of thoughts are called the mana so your money is representing the whole pillar of your body next is the nine gates of your body there are nine uh, uh, gates two is your nostril there is this space now there is gate it's your entry gate it's your food to your body what you are listening, what you are eating, what you are smelling, these all are the foods which is eating through your gyanendris. Okay. Now, you are not only taking food through your mouth, you are only also taking food through your ears, through your eyes, through your nose. Okay. So, here there are nine gates. Two is your ears, two is your nose, two is your eyes, one is the muk, one is the guda. And next one is the NS and the another one is the Upas. Okay. So among these five Adi Devda, the five Devdas are also there, which is present in our own body. So later on, with we will relate it with the chakras and try to know which chakra is represented by which god. So the five Adi Devdas are Brahma, Vishnu, Rudra, Ishwar, Sadasiv. You should know the sequence also. The sequence is same everywhere in all the Hatha Yogic texts. Brahma, Vishnu, Rudh, Ishwar, and Sadasiv. And the people who doesn't know about these kind of knowledge, so there is no, uh, they will not, never go at the Yogic Siddhi. And if the uh, statement is firm, if they don't know about this kind of knowledge, they will never get the Yogic Siddhi as according to the Maharshi Gherant. Okay. Now moving to the Sad Chakras. So uh, starting with the Muladhara. Muladhara is located in the Gudasthan, that is your genital region, anus region. And there are four Kamal. Uh, like there are petals of uh, lotus now. Uh, have you seen the figure in the uh, have you seen the figure? Yes, yes, ma'am. Or should I show you? No, we've seen it, ma'am. We've seen it. Most of us know it. Is it Sonia? You yes, know it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, Mul Adhara is having four uh, petals. So the, uh, you can remember this like this. In the same sequence, 
4, 6, 10, 12, 16. Every day, the uh, number is increasing by 2, 4, 2, 4 only. 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 4, 10, 10 plus 2, 12, 12 plus 4, 16. And then two. Yeah, for the easy remembrance, chart che das bara sola do. Chart che das bara sola do. Four, six, ten, twelve, sixteen, two. Because most of the time, one question will definitely hundred percent will come from such chakra directly or indirectly. You will get uh, get the answer. Sometimes it's two also, three also. But one question is hundred percent sure. The one question will come from the chakras. So this uh, the, this topic is having a very special place in all the hatha yogic text. So this is basic one. So you should remember it very firmly. Ki how many petals are there? What's the location? What's their bija mantra? Do you know the bija mantra? It's la va ra ya ya ha lam vam ram yam ham. Okay, so you should, uh, uh, for remembering purpose, you can transform it like lover ya, lover ya, lam, vam, ram, ya. Okay, so you will never forget this. So whenever the question will come, sometimes I can remember key one time the question was, they have given you three chakras and they have given you so many bees mantras and you have to match the correct chakra with the correct bees mantra. So if you remember it in the sequence, you will remember it, okay? Uh, the Muladhar is in the Guda. The Swadhisthan is in the Ling. It's in between the four uh, uh, angul above the Muladhar Chakra. There is a location of the Mail and it's also called the Swadhisthan Chakra Kendra. Next is the Manipur. It's the Naval region, Anahat Chakra. Heart region, Vishuddhi is your gun. Throat region, Agya is your Huma the reason. Okay. Next is the what is Kamakya feet? So, in between the Muladhara chakra and Swadhisthan chakra, there is a triangular position called the Kama feet. It's called the Yoni Asthan also. So, the Muladhara chakra uh, is also located in the, that place and it's called the Kamakya feet or the uh, triangular Yoni. Okay, it's represented in as a between. Yoni. Repeat that in between Muladhara chakra and Swadhisthan chakra. Means four angle above the Muladhara chakra, there is a place of Kamakya feet or the Yoni feet, Trikonakar Yoni. So here again, the, you are asking me what is the Viswatu Muk Param Jyoti? Param Jyoti. In the, from that tri triangular space, Swarna Trikon, it's a golden in color. So uh, the Agni is uh, always burning there. And that Agni is giving uh, uh, heat to your body or the life to your body. In commonly, wordly, you can say na, ki uska sari thanda ho gaya. Means he's dead now. Means his body fire is not available. So the Kala Agni or the Sari Agni, that Parama Jyoti is called the Vishwoda Parama Jyoti, which is located in the Kamakya Pit itself. Okay. From there, uh, from there only the Nadis are originated. It's called the, and uh, they are having 72,000 Nadis in our whole body. So among the 72,000 Nadis, 10 are important. Among the 10, three are the most important among those three one is the most important first is the 72000 i am repeating it this is very important so i am just repeating it among 72000 10 are very important among 10 three are the most important among three one is the most important so i will just go with the among 72000 nadis the 10 most important nadis are Ira, Pingla, Shushuna, Gandhari, Hastijiva, Pusha, Yeshashwani, Alambusa, Hu, and Sankini. Okay, these are the 10 important Naris. Among these 10, three are the most important. No. Okay, I will come. Don't speak in between. Among these 10, three are the most important. Ira, Pingla, and Susanna. 
and among these three shishunna is the most important so sometimes not sometimes already the question has came in the exam to arrange the sequence uh, you will give you all the 10 and among them you have to choose three or sometimes it's choose a uh, service traced nari kone there uh, there is only the magic of words the words will be changing so the answer will be automatically changing so in most of the condition you will be knowing the answer and you will be giving the wrong answer so be very practical just play a good game with the words always read the question three to four times okay now ask what you are telling so the nadis the names of the nadis can you repeat it a little more slowly uh, at the end after alam busha what are the other two no? it's who and sankini who who and sankini Ah, I will provide you this PDF. Write it on my own slowly. Okay, now just read it. If you having any concept misunderstanding, try to understand it. Later on, you can just make a note of your own self. Okay. If you do, yes. now this is the time. If you don't understand the word or the meaning, just ask it. Don't give more attention in writing. Okay. Man, the problem might be because these slides are in Hindi and if we have to do it on our own, like the translation will be difficult. That's the problem for some of them. Good. Then the correct center will be finishing in 10 days now. So Idanadi is on the left side, the left nostril, Pingala is the right nostril, Sushumna is the center um, nadi, central nadi, Gandhari is Gandhari is what now? The uh, Aarti ji, have you written? Yes, ma'am. Anita ji. Yes, ma'am. Kitna likha? How much you have written? Ma'am, I, I just uh, written uh, te, 10 uh, nadis. Uh, and that uh, uh, Ida Pingala, Shukshmana, that names alone I have written, ma'am. Okay, and any, anything else you have missed till now, Evo? No, ma'am. But the, the but the location that you have to tell, ma'am. Asking to Anita Ji, have you missed anything earlier? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You have written everything. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, so, one uh, most, uh, actually what happens now, that if the flow will break, because the key important point will be missed. So, the my moon uh, concept, I will let you write again. I will give you the time. First, I, my, I think I need to make your concept that is very important. If you write and just don't understand what we are writing, I don't think it's very beneficial. The another important thing is here among these 10 Naris, when you read the Yoga Upanishad, the locations are different. In one of the or two of the Upanishad, the location of the same Nari is given different. Have you read Yoga Upanishad? No, no. Like, uh, uh, Nadi Bindu Upanishad, Sweta Sweta Upanishad, Yokundal Upanishad, and all. No, no, no. no. You can start Let's start it now. Okay. So just keep, uh, just mark it as an important point. So the location of these Naris are different in the yogic textbook. But in other Hat yogic textbook like Siv Sahita or Vasis Sahita, the location is same as it is in the Gorak Sahita. But in other Yoga Upanishad, it's a bit different. Okay. So just don't confuse among them. The, when the question will come in the exam, first please, according to the location of which text, the, uh, what's the reference of the asking the question? 
so it'd be very soft at that point okay so the uh, 80 percent of the time this is the actual answer you have to return but 20 percent of the time there is a chance key question will come from that upanishad also so you have to know uh, the location of those nari according to those upanishad also first one is the ida your left nostril pingla is your right nostril susuna is the middle one gandhari is the fourth one gandhari is the your left eye gandhari is your left eye hasti jiva hasti jiva is your right eye hasti jiva is the right eye gandhari is the left hasti jiva right pusha is here right ear okay pusha is the right ear yashashwani is the left ear repeating again pusha is your right ear yashashwani is your left ear alungusha is your mouth who is your genital organs and sankhani is your anus who is the genital organs sankhani is your anus clear everyone yes ma'am yes ma'am okay now moving to the next ira it's your left nostril is representing your moon okay so we are doing the left nostril activating prana like chandra bhedi prana it's representing your moon the chandra okay pingla is your right nostril that is the sude sude bhedi prana we do from the right nostril okay and the sushumna just represent with the agni there are other names also ganga jamna and saraswati so uh, this question also came in the exam so you should know the other synonyms of the these three important nadis okay till here everybody clear now i will ask more than 50 questions from the, among these only by rotating it one by one so you should be prepared now talking about the 10 pranas five are the most important prana and five are upaprana sub pranas you can just categorize into the sub category okay the five most important prana are pran apan saman udan and vyan repeating again it's a pran, apan, saman, udan, and vyan. Again, I am mentioning the important thing. Ki what's the sthan of these prana in our body is different in different yogic text. Okay. So, sometimes, uh, like, uh, no, 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 place note function function is different means uh, if uh, some uh, in uh, some place what's the function of vyan in garan sanita is different but, uh, not garan sanita in gorat sanita is different but the function of vyan in siv sanita is different so you should learn it in a comparative way got it sign what i'm trying to say yes sir tell me tell me what i'm trying the, to the functions of these uh, pranas are different according to different texts so you have to prepare uh, comparatively yes very good so you have to just don't uh, go with the one text when you are reading guru saita learn everything about the guru saita when you go about the grand saita learn everything about the grand saita but when you are in the exam there are 20 plus books are there so you should know ki, what is the actual question they are asking so uh, uh, sonia can you name the five important prana of your body yes ma'am prana pan saman udan and vyan these are only four where is five prana pan saman udan and vyan and it's five Anita ji. Yes, ma'am. 
प्राण अपान then uh pusha i will give uh, i will give you a short technique to remember first what you said i will repl- everybody re- use your hands try to learn it try to correlate it it's very simple it's a quick way to learn come on science tell me put your camera on yeah. everyone put your camera on da ida i told ida ira represent with your fingers where is ira ida hmm pingala hmm sushumna hmm then gandhari hmm gandhari 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 hmm. gandhari was a blind hmm. woman na just means just go with the hmm. eye the simple lesson is to go with the eye gandhari ah. and then hasta hasta jiva जब बाया आंख आ गया तो नेक्स्ट विल बी योर राइट आई ओके हां नेक्स्ट पुश पुशा देन यशस्विनी नाउ फ्रॉम मूविंग द एक फिर से गलती होती है कॉमन मिस्टेक अगेन फ्रॉम हियर इट्स राइट साइड द नेक्स्ट वन इज अगेन द राइट साइड इट्स योर राइट ईयर ओनली पुशा इज योर राइट ईयर ओनली ओके देन द लास्ट नेक्स्ट आफ्टर पुशा आलम पुशा नो यशस्विनी इज देयर या पुषा यशस्विनी हम्म आलंबुषा कुहु शंकिनी हम्म दैट्स वेरी सिंपल कुहु शंकिनी एट द जेनिटल वन सो आरती जी रिपीट इट ट्राई टू उच्चारण करो जस्ट चैंट व्हाट आर द टाइम ईडा पिंगला ईडा पिंगला जल्दी करो आप लोग एक्शन टीचर यहां बता रहे कैसे करना है बाकी सब देख रहे हैं गांधारी हस्तजीवा पुषा uh then yashashwini then uh, uh-huh. alambusha uh, alambusha mm-hmm. is mouth and then kuhu mm-hmm. uh, and shankini okay anita ji yes mama uh, ida pingala shukshmana camera on karo camera on karo mama you are asking camera ma'am uh shukshmana gandhari has हस्तस्विनी उषा हस्ती लिसन 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 हस्ती जीवा जीवा हस्ते जीवा हस्ते जीवा हस्ते जीवा उषा इशस्विनी आलंबुषा बिफोर बिफोर यशस्विनी व्हाट इज देयर उषा मां उषा हां उषा नाडीज it's a homework is done in the classroom itself okay now you can remember you yes, can ma'am. relate yes sir okay now the moving to the next 10 pranas because these are things explained in every hatha yoga text every text you will be remembering so these are the roots of hatha yoga so if you don't know the uske upar ka sab clear ho jayega everything clear <laughs> because you don't know the basic what move to the prana what to the ten prana sign start 
प्राणा अपाना समाना उदाना व्याना नागा कूर्मा दट त्रिकारा देवदत्त धनंजय ओके साहे सोनिया कैन यू रिमेम्बर देखो देर इज वेरी गुड चांस कावदत्त मीन्स इफ यू आर हैविंग ए फ्रेंड His name is Devadatt, and another friend you are having is name is Dhananjay. So Devadatt and Dhananjay, these are two of your best friend. Don't forget his name. Or a friend's name, don't forget. So Pran, Apan, Suman, Udan, Vyan. These are very basic nouns. Nag, Nag, Kurm is Kachua, Krikal, Devadatt and Dhananjay are two of your friends. So the ten pranas are clear. Everything clear, everyone? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So now moving to the place and what's the purpose? Oh, sorry, what's the function of these prana? We will learn. Prana is located in your hridaya, your heart region. Prana is in your heart. Apan is in your guda, means in your lower part of the body. So if you, is any uh, in Gharan Sahita, we have uh, now I got a good question. In which set karma it is written? Apan Kroor Vayu is treated by doing this set karma. Answer this. Apan Kroor Vayu. Gharan Sahita. Gharan Sahita. Ah ha. I am asking which set which karma. Set karma. I know. हमेशा कंठ योर थ्रॉट योर विशुद्धि चक्र ओके इट्स योर उदान व्यान इज इज इन द होल बॉडी समस्त शरीर द होल बॉडी इज फिल्ड बाय द व्यान फर्स्ट वन इज द नाग नाग हाउ द नाग स्पीक्स लाइक सो व्हेन एवर यू जस्ट डूइंग अच्छा नाउ अनदर क्वेश्चन सो इन व्हिच शट कर्मा यू आर गेटिंग लाइक अ बेल्चिंग साउंड स्नेक हाउ इज making sound like phupkarna so just uh, remember like this ki nag is uh, doing daka kurma means kurma is a hair uh, pal, uh, is your kachua kachua always just uh, take the senses inside and it's a palak jhapkana means you are just uh, nimeshon mesh kriya means you have to like this the eye movement krikal means you have to sneeze chikna devdat is jama yawning okay devdatt is yawning krikal is sneezing dhananjay is the only prana which is left in your body after your death also for the fourth hour the uh, uh, this question has already come in the exam of the net exam itself ki which prana resides in your body after the death also don't forget it anywhere okay that is the dhananjaya anita ji which prana 
Dhanajaya, ma'am. Okay, now can you explain what you understand till now about the prana? Yes, ma'am. Uh, prana, apana, samana. Uh, after mm -hmm. that, I uh, udana, that is upper, uh, that is our throat region. Uh, vyana, that is a uh, whole body. It flows in whole body. Uh, Naga, what you said, uh, it can't uh, uh, grasp, ma'am. Kurma is eye blinking. Uh, Krichaka is uh, sneezing. Uh, Devadatta is uh, yawning. Dhananjaya is uh, is in our, uh, if we death also it is in our body. Okay. Nagi is the belching. Belching. We are belching now. When we are, after taking sometimes we overeat. Then we are belching. Uh, the breathe no, out from the no, mouth. No, no, so that, no, no, no. Okay, clear. Oh, yes, ma'am, yes. Okay. Okay, so uh, we can end here. So till now, I don't want you to miss any single question. The question should be of any type or any how, but you should know the answer. Is it clear? Ho jayega aisa? Can I expect? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Sure. Okay, so from tomorrow we will start with the Ajapa Gayatri. But uh, see, I will uh, share this PDF in the group and try to make some report. Try to make note today only. And those words which you don't understand, just ask me tomorrow. Okay, because we uh, try to understand because we have to go a little bit faster. Otherwise, your many text will be left. It will be your loss only. So just please do the few homeworks. Okay. Now only I will share this video. Make a uh, for Anita ji and uh, Usha ji. If you don't understand, I will help you. I will help you personally I also. Do just do... But I do understand, ma'am. I do understand. I was Achita. talking on this. Okay. No, no, no. I, it's only Anita ji. I will help you personally also if you want. Okay. okay. So I will okay. share the PDF and the rest of you, those who understand, make a note right. initially only so that we can uh, cross check and cover and try to cover a maximum part in a day. Okay. Right. Michael, I also can't uh, read the Hindi scripture more. So if any doubts, uh, I'll ask you. Yeah, please, please ask. And just to make uh, most of the question, ask more and more. The question you will ask. The answer you will never forget. The question you will keep in the mind, your answer you will not get in the exam also. Just discuss more and more. I just uh, don't speak myself. I just let you speak because it is the only way you will remember the answer because you have a very short time and you have to cover lots of books. So if you read at least one time, so just uh, you need to work more. Okay. Sharing you the PDF. Go work. Jitne doubts so they collect it. I will answer every of them tomorrow. Okay. Yes, Bye. Yes, ma'am.